This is a series of videos. Please refer to the methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to learn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during your crocheting process. Please make sure to first view the beginning ten instructional videos to learn the basic methods of crocheting, and then view the instructional videos for your purchased product. Now let's make this needle bed. Its skirt can be turned down like this. Beginners are advised to watch the tutorial videos first and practice the basic stitches with the practice yarn in the kit. The head. Work in geometric ring. Wrap the corresponding yarn around your fingers like this. Make loop around your middle finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and the middle finger. Work in geometric ring. Wrap the yarn around your middle finger. Then bring it up to index finger. Make loop around your middle finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on your middle finger. Yarn on the hook, pull up a loop. The loop on the middle finger becomes the magic ring. In round one, start from one chain stitch, then work eight single crochets, and finally join this round with a slip stitch. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Yarn around the hook and pull up loop. A magic ring is formed on middle finger. Then yarn around the hook, pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. This is a chain stitch. First, work a chain stitch. Yarn around the chain stitch and the slip stitch serves as the beginning and the ending of each round, which will not be counted. Into the number of stitches, then work eight single crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring, hook the yarn and pull up loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn on the hook, and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Insert hook into the magic ring, pull up loop through the magic ring. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn on the hook, pull through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Place a marker in the first stitch of each round. Such a V shape on the side stands for one stitch. Insert hook into the magic ring. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then yarn on the hook, pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. The second single crochet is done. Keep working six more single crochets. Eight single crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail to tighten the loop. Pull 
put the yarn tail on the back. Then work one snip stitch in the first stitch, which is the stitch with the marker. Insert hook into this marked stitch. Okay, hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the second loop on the hook. That's a snip stitch. Snip stitch. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. That's a snip stitch. Repeat. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. Repeat one more time. Okay. That's a snip stitch. Round one is done. Remove the marker. In round two, start from one chain stitch, and then work eight increases. Finally, join this round with a snip stitch. First, work one chain stitch. Then work eight increases. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. First, work one single crochet in the first stitch. Insert hook into the first stitch, hook the yarn, and pull up loop. There are two loops on hook, yarn on hook, pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Place a marker in the first stitch. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. Keep working seven more increases. We need to work two single crochets in each stitch. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Insert hook into the first stitch, hook the yarn and pull it through the stitch. Then pull the first loop through the ring loop on the hook. Tighten up. One slip stitch is done. Round two is done. Remove the marker. In round three, start with one chain stitch, and then work set of one single crochet, one increase, for eight times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Let's start. One chain stitch. Then work one single crochet.
place a marker in the first stage. Next, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stage. Increase. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stage. In the next stage, we'll show how to work one increase. First, work a single crochet in the next stitch. Then, work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. One set is done. Keep working seven more sets. Work one single crochet and one increase as one set. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 3 is done. Tighten the yarn tail to close the little hole in the center completely.